So you may recognize this as a sunflower, which it is, um, but this isn't a single flower. This is another one of these head inflorescences. If you look very carefully in the corners, you see those little curly looking things? They almost look like little ears. Those are actually the stigmas that have come out of the individual flowers. So each one of these yellow things isn't a petal. This is an actual individual flower. Those are called ray flowers and the flowers in the center are called disc flowers. Now some members, this is all Asteraceae, have flowers that are all ray flowers. That's actually what a dandelion is. Some of them are all disc flowers and they don't have these at all. So what you're looking for, if you're looking for this family, you look for a lot of individual flowers and you'll actually be able to see they have five petals and they have little tiny star shapes. So what I've got right there, that, right there that just fell out, that is one flower. This is the ovary. This right up here, this is actually the petals. The petals are all fused together, together in a tube. These are the stamens right here, these dark parts. A lot of times the stigmas will come out and you'll often see two little curly cues coming out at the top. Um, this one doesn't have that. I'll have to see if I can find one. Um, but this is a member of the aster family. And the aster family, it looks like it's one flower, but it's actually composed of hundreds of flowers, just like this, little teeny tiny flowers. This one is what we call a disc flower, and then there can be longer ones called ray flowers. All right, so this is a close-up of um, an actual dandelion flower which, you know, is pretty familiar and you would think is kind of a normal thing. Um, but this isn't just one flower. This is actually a whole inflorescence. So the whole inflorescence, if you can see these little tiny things down here, those are actually the individual ovaries. Like this is one flower. That's an unopened flower in the center. As you go around the edge, they're actually opened flowers. Thing down here, this is the ovary. This little fluffy stuff. Essentially this is analogous to sepals. It's called the um, pappus. And then this right here, this kind of curly cue right here, those are actually the stigmas. And then the stamens are actually kind of fused, the anthers are actually kind of fused together in a little tube. And this right here, this is the corolla. This is actually a bilaterally symmetrical corolla, um, but this is what we call a ray flower. So the ray flower is basically just one of those which you might have thought of as petals, but actually this is a whole flower. And then we have the dandelion seed head, Taraxacum officinale. So what I've got here, right there, that is actually one flower. So that's one flower right there, which I was just telling you about. And then take one of these so notice right here, you might think this is one seed. In fact, this is a whole fruit. This is analogous to this little guy right down there. That's the ovary. So this is the mature ovary. This is what we call a fruit. It's a type of fruit called an akeen. What happens is this fluffy stuff, this centerpiece elongates, grows out, and it makes this little parachute that then can fly through the air and get into everybody's yard. Um, at least in the United States, this is actually um, a non-native species, but it pretty much just grows in lawns and things up there when a wind, there when a wind gust. Um, but one of the other things you should know about members of the aster family is a lot of times what's really important are actually these structures back here. And you might think, oh, those are sepals, right? No, the sepals are basically down here. That's this part. So these are a specialized structure called filaries. And a lot of times when you're identifying members of the aster family, it's these things back here, these filaries that actually make the difference. And so if you're taking pictures of them to identify, always take pictures of those.